Hey guys, Ivan here, and this video we are starting with uh, Stanimal or Stanimal de Longeau. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. So, Stanimal, this is him five weeks ago when he did the Legion Sports, and uh, this was five to ten pounds lighter than he is today. So he says here that he is right now at three days out of Toronto Pro Show, five to ten pounds heavier and with better conditioning. So what the hell does that mean? I mean? Did he gain 15 pounds of muscle in five weeks? No, no, it means that he was dieting a little bit too hard. That's how he explained it. He was trying to get the glutes in and uh, a lot of muscle was lost in that process. But now, after his glutes were actually in, finally, he was actually able to introduce more food, more carbs, and he filled up, he regained some of that tissue that he lost, you know, the fullness mainly, and the conditioning stayed the same because his metabolism was very fast, and now he's bigger and with the same condition or actually better conditioning. That happens, it does, it makes sense actually. What's very interesting about Stanimal is that he started as a man's physique competitor, and he was good at it, he made his name as such. Then later, he moved on to classic physique. He did pretty well, but it wasn't enough for him, he moved to 212. And then, eventually, he moved to the, to the ultimate division, that's open bodybuilding. And here he is, and he's about to win a pro show and go to the Mr. Olympia. I mean, this is crazy. Already at the Mr. Olympia, I think it's gonna happen. Because the lineup, it's not very deep. Take a look at this. You know, in bodybuilding, you never know. Maybe one of these guys comes out of nowhere and destroys everybody. But as for now, what we know, that's Quinton Area, Stan, Stanimal, and also uh, Joseph Seaman and Joel Thomas are pretty good bodybuilders, but they're not, they're not that good. So I think it's going to be between Quinton and Stan. And this is what Quinton looks like right now. He looks ridiculous. He looks like a monster. With that small, tiny waist, big legs. Uh, he looks amazing, but do I see him winning a show, winning a pro show? I don't know. I, I don't think any of these two guys are that good to be winning pro shows and going to the Mr. Olympia on qualification. But somebody has to win, and as impressive as he is, I don't think Quinton is going to win this show. He still needs to add more maturity, more density. Let me show you a comparison made by Fernando Arroyo, and here you can kind of get an idea of what I'm saying. So, front lat spread, it looks... the structure is ridiculous on Quinton, but the maturity, the density to the chest, and also here to the back. Like, you can see the, the back is not that wide on Quinton. And not very deep. Uh, the glutes, yes, he has very very separated glutes. That looks awesome. But again, the width to the back. The overall density of physique. You know, the mass of the legs, the sweep. It just... Uh, Stan just looks more, uh, more... More dense, more thick overall. Everywhere, basically. Look at, look at the density to the chest and the shoulders. It's crazy how much he came up from his man's physique days. It's, it's just a different man. So Quinton, he is genetically blessed like, like nobody, basically. He can win the Mr. Olympia someday. He has really unique and, and, and crazy looking genetics. But right now, I don't think his time is yet. He still has to gain that maturity. And he also needs to add more density to his physique. Which will happen after a couple of years of hardcore proper training. I have no doubts. If he does the work, it will happen and he will be probably unstoppable. Yeah, there, there is a potential for that. Anyways, here are the most, the, the, the most recent, I caught them like 35 seconds after he uploaded these, the most recent photos of Stanimal, 24 hours before the show, and this is probably morning, uh, probably fasted, he looks a little bit flatter, but after he carbs up, he's gonna look much, much better, no doubt about that. And I mean, it's just ridiculous that this guy was a man's physique competitor a couple of years ago, he gained so much muscle. Surely you guys know that uh, Stanimal was Sean Roden's training partner and he is devoting this potential win to him. I'm coming with all I got. I want to make you proud, brother. 2022 Mr. Olympia qualification like we wanted to step on stage together. Hashtag in your honor. Says Stanimal in his description of this new physique update. And uh, let's see, let's see what happens. 24 hours, I will report it here, so guys stay tuned. Alright, next we have a very impressive looking bodybuilder who is not a pro. It's weird. I mean, Justin Shear, this is his name, looks looks incredible. Looks insane, especially in these photos right here. 
So it's crazy that he didn't turn pro yet. I watched him on a podcast. He said that he started training at 27 and he's 36 right now. So he started late. And before he became a bodybuilder, he used to ride bicycle and do crazy stunts. So <laughs> that's pretty crazy background story for a bodybuilder. That's not something that you see very often. It's not usual. But right now he looks absolutely ridiculously massive. And it's, it's insane that he's not a professional. He's two weeks out right here. And he is about to turn pro. I'm sure he will get that pro card. He deserves it. He looks like a professional bodybuilder. I, I, I don't see why this guy couldn't be like one of the top pros someday even. Yeah, I can see that. He looks he, look, he has great structure, a lot of muscle, not a lot of flaws, especially in these photos. But I found one photo. This one was suspicious to me. Something is off here. How does this one make sense? Look at his stomach and his chest and his arms. Everything from the front looks dry as hell. But from the back, not even close. I mean, it's just a different story. No details. Uh, the skin looks kind of loose. Uh, he holds a lot of water in that area. No details. Yeah, the traps are looking pretty big, but the lats are not very developed. He has a little bit higher lats. You can see that from the front as well. But it does flow well in the front, in the front pose. In the back pose, not that good. So that can hold him back, that's the flaw that I just found. Other than that, he has a very complete physique, and I still think he will turn pro. And maybe someday his back double bicep is gonna look like this. And this is Nick Walker, and this is not his best pose, not even close. His back still needs to be to, to, to improve, and he's working on it, and he's doing it year after year. Actually, month after month, because he competed like three times since he became a pro. Uh, and he progressed every show he was better from winning a pro card to chicago pro where he was i think fourth he looked better he looked improved then from chicago to new york pro he improved like crazy then from new york pro to arnold and then from arnold to mr olympia he made crazy changes so he's progressing month after month and just imagine how much he'll progress in a year in a proper off season is he gonna have an off season, a full off season though? I'm not so sure. This is him right now. As you can see in the description here, he says this Friday morning. Why is he so shredded right now? It's been quite a while since Mr. Olympia. And take a look at his glutes right here and the hamstrings and lower back. Like there is no water. He looks dry. I mean, no fat whatsoever. He's shredded. Yes, I know he's doing cardio every day, but and he's always on on a diet. Still, this lean, I don't know. Maybe his plan is actually to do Arnold Classic again, and I don't think it would hurt him because when he's this shredded, he doesn't really need to do much more work to get ready for the Arnold. If he's already in shape, why the hell not do it to confirm his title, to to confirm that he is the champion? Yes, I know he is qualified for the Mr. Olympia. He doesn't need to do any more shows. He can just focus on Mr. Olympia and focus on actually even winning it. I know how crazy it sounds, but anything is possible with Nick. He said he will win New York Pro, Arnold Classic, and he will crack the top 5 at the Mr. Olympia. Everything that he said, no matter how crazy it sounds at that point, it all came true. So can he win the Mr. Olympia in 2022? I don't think it's out of question, I think it's possible. And would it hurt him to do an Arnold before that? I don't think it would hurt him, not that much. Maybe he would actually benefit from a rebound because he progressed so much in a year and he did more shows. Maybe that's the best way for him. Maybe Matt Jensen, his coach, will actually decide to do it that way. Maybe he was taking a lot of advantage from the rebounds after the shows and that makes sense. So maybe, maybe he'll actually do the Arnold. It would make sense to me. I don't know what you guys, but look at him right now. Peeled, shredded, full blown. Why the hell not do it? Tell me what you think. And for the end, we have a crazy looking physique update of Antoine Valiant. When I saw this, I was like, wow, <laughs> this is bodybuilding. Antoine Valiant, after second bicep tear, is back in the business. Look at him. This was definitely worthy making a story about. I mean, he looks really, really massive. I know he's getting over 300 pounds. And he doesn't look that big on the stage, but he's actually really massive. And I'm hoping that 
Everything will go well for him in the offseason and then in the prep. I'm not sure which show exactly he's planning on doing. I think not, 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 not anytime soon. Maybe like next year, or later next year. I'm not sure. But here, he looks really freaking insane. And I think this guy has a big potential. Yeah, I know he's very leg dominant. His arms could be bigger, but he has a lot of size. And arms are not really winning shows. You know, it's back and legs mainly. But yeah, if he fixed the arms, if he got them bigger and not if he and if he doesn't tear any more biceps in the process, that could make him a hell of a bodybuilder. He does have everything else pretty much. What do you guys think? Tell me down below in the comment section about whichever part of this video. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for more videos like this. All the best guys and bye bye.